Hello. Uh, let's see how the third challenge from uh, Flare on 2019 competition could be solved. Uh, the challenge was named Flare Bear, and as we can read from the description, it's a uh, Tamagotchi a pet. Uh, be very fussy, keep him alive and happy, and we'll give you the flag. And if we don't download this uh, 7-zip file uh, with and uh, unpack it, we'll get a We'll get an uh, APK file, which is an Android package uh, file, and we have to unpack it and, and decompile. I usually use some kind of online tool to do that. I don't want to install too much Java stuff on my uh, PC, so I usually uh, resort to, to online tools. And when we do that, uh, we get uh, yeah we get the files which I have it here decompiled. Uh, it looks like there's some resources and sources. Uh, so let's open that in uh, some editor. Uh, and, and sources are usually in Android app, uh, apps um, uh, quite well organized. It looks like this one was written in Kotlin, I guess, uh, from the Kotlin uh, folder. Mm, and we have this com, which usually contains the uh, structure for the, for the actual code. And here we have FireEye Flareber, which yeah sounds like uh, something we should look into that. And there are some files, but not not too many. We have we could start one by one or from like main activity. Sounds like something that uh, we can look into that. It's not that big. There's some on create method, on resume. So it's basically um, yeah activities that will or functions that will be called. Uh, throughout the, the application um, and yeah by going through the file we can see this flareber activity is quite large actually I think maybe the largest from uh, from all those files and we can see some crypto stuff is in here that sounds like something we might be interested in uh, and we can go through this file see if something is uh, more interesting than uh, than else, and yeah, actually, if we sc scroll down, we will find something that's interesting. Dance with flag, basically, yeah, and also it's being called here uh, because it says with flag. We are assuming that this might be the method that will give us the flag, and let's see what actually it what it does. Uh, and yeah, it gets some resource. Um, called ecstatic, it reads the data from that resource, it gets another resource, also get the data, oh, then it gets a password, decrypt, decrypt, and calls method dance with uh, bitmap drawable, with the, some get resources, and I guess it decodes one array, and decodes the second array, so basically we will I call this method dance with those two bitmaps um, decrypted from, from the resources. And actually, if we go to the resources uh, and they are in this row, which basically is uh, written here. So if we go to raw, we can see we have those files. Uh, uh, that's our those resources and I have them already copied to my uh, solutions folder but if we would be doing that uh, during the competition we would copy those files so get password what actually it does it actually okay get some values initialize some strings and based on some uh, yeah division or actually taking reminders from divisions it actually uh, generate some additional values so it basically gets stat which is this f value it gets that free which is the c and actually generates string one string and string two str and str2 and repeats those uh, words flare bear and yeah a few times bear is also rot n by some value which is also uh, based on the stat. So actually we don't know those values, we need to find them. And 
at the end we generate well we create string builder append those values and return it as a password so we can see the password is a combination of flare bear and yeah with some strings in between like from from those or maybe this one or this one and that's the password okay so we know more or less how the password is generated rot n we assume it's rot n basically uh, we could analyze this function if it actually behaves like that but more or less it looks it's okay so we iterate through all the characters uh, we get the character at position if it's lowercase then we do something uh, and we get it from yeah so it more or less I think it's it's yeah it's an um, rot n it also it's okay it just do it when it's a lowercase so basically uh, omits the uppercase and also when we looked at this dance with flag it was called when this is ecstatic method returns true and we can look at this also so it will return true if the state which is mass will be 72 state 2 which is happy is 30 and clean is 0 so we need to actually find out also those values uh, if we need them of course but also there's this here is happy which is based on uh, this value f and p um, yeah so we need to actually solve some simple equations um, uh, either on paper or we could use like z3 but i guess z3 might be uh, too much for this uh, but actually yeah i did solve it do it during the competition and i have this decrypt java or actually we can use this flare bar it's the same but just uh, the name of the file is the same as the name of the uh, class because for some reason java requires that so what we have here we have uh, i copied almost uh, everything is copied from the from the flare bar uh, decrypt is copied from the flare bar uh, the stuff in the main is also copied with some additional stuff from me so basically uh, we do not need to re use resources I'm just reading the files I have the get password method but it actually returns the static uh, string which from here we can see how many of those values we need so flare is repeated four times yeah is repeated twice and bear is I think repeated seven times and yeah there was like a star and a plus um, generated from those uh, from those uh, let's just see from get password uh, so one was star and one was what plus okay so plus so those are the values from those uh, uh, switch statements and what so we 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 have a, a file uh, we have a data we uh, get the password then we just call decrypt and we will get the decrypted bytes and we just save them to files as the same name but with decrypted so we will do not overwrite those and that's more or less all uh, as i said this is the original method maybe well some stuff was uh, maybe changed because it might was using some uh, uh, function let's just see if the decrypt uh, is the same well I removed those I didn't need that uh, there are some I guess some strings that like intrinsic stuff which uh, I guess we don't have it here but the actual code is 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 there and uh, there was one issue at least I had one issue with this code this um, cipher that is used AES CBC PK, PKCS 7 padding was actually causing an error when I run it normally and it looks like it was due to that this uh, type of algorithm or cipher is not common at least it's not provided in uh, Java it's not provided by default and you can use uh, and a bouncy castle package which actually provides those additional uh, ciphers so I added this file to add a provider 
uh, for this bouncy castle uh, provider to be able to use this uh, type of encryption. And I guess that was all uh, what had to be done. So as I said, uh, find out what was the correct values for those uh, values, like how many flares we need, how many bears and how many yeah, with a plus and a star. Well, we could, I guess there was a way maybe to brute force that. We could run through all the combinations uh, and see which one will not uh, fail in the decryption part. But I guess, yeah, this is also like uh, not very complex uh, math to be solved even on, on paper without any um, additional tools. Okay, so uh, if we have that, we can we can run. But there's also, we need to provide the, this package from Bouncy Castle. So Bouncy Castle gives us a jar file and we need to um, use it or actually uh, tell Java to use it uh, when running our application. So let's just um, add it as CP, so class path. I guess it adds this uh, file to a path that will be looked through uh, for uh, packages. Okay, and the file is name, what's the file name? I don't remember. It's BC prof. Okay, and then we will just run flare bear activity. Uh, Java. Okay, so we get some strings which uh, we saw in the code. So there was like a flare on then the size of the files and at the end decrypted. So there was no exception. So we actually decrypted the files. So let's just see actually right now what are those. So let's just open file and it looks like it's PNG file. Okay, so let's just rename, well, maybe not rename, but just add one. Okay, and let's just see if the other is also PNG. Yes, it's also a PNG file. So we can uh, change the, the name and if we open the file, yay, we get the flag. So that was barely a challenge at flare-on.com. And let's just see what's the other file. Uh, okay, so I guess the other file is just so the bear dances. So we can simulate that without running the application. Um, okay, so that's all for this challenge. So I hope you like it. And if you like it, please uh, give a like and uh, subscribe. And if there's anything uh, I should explain more about this uh, challenge, let me know in the comments and see you next time in uh, fourth stage of Flare on 2019. Thanks and bye.